Now let's learn a little more about the enigmatic word Hoosier. Most people think that Indiana University has always been known as the Hoosiers, but that's technically not the case. IU didn't become the Hoosiers until the early 1920s. Before that, they were the Crimson, and then the Cream and Crimson. So how exactly did IU get that nickname? And what is a Hoosier? Honestly, to me, a Hoosier is anybody that supports IU uh, students in general. I don't know, they just grow up here and just part of who we are, just really like nice people, I think, are from Indiana, really passionate basketball fans, and I think that's a Hoosier. I don't really know, because I have a, I'm only a freshman. What is a Hoosier? Oh, geez. Hoosier. There are, it's a term for a backwoods mountain person who's uneducated, uncivilized. How did it get to Indiana? Well, the Appalachian area was settled by Irish Scots, and many of them moved from that area into Kentucky and then up into the Indiana area. When they did so at that time, Kentucky was becoming a plantation state and there was significant amounts of wealth. Those people who weren't as wealthy moved into Indiana. They were people who were called Hoosiers because of their low levels of education. Ultimately though, Kentucky fell on hard times and Indiana had better times. And so Hoosier took on a positive connotation. So Hoosier probably started out as a very neutral term about mountain people, but became negative because it was associated with uneducated people, but as with many terms that start out that way, when the group that they're associated with rises up in society, the term takes on a more positive value, similar to Tar Heels in North Carolina, Crackers in Georgia, these kinds of things. Because most people would think that it, Indiana was just always the Hoosiers, but that wasn't the case. They were the, known as the Indiana Crimson early on, and Zora Clevenger hired a football coach by the name of uh, Navy Bill Ingram. They wanted to start calling the team uh, something different. They started talking about how he was going to have his scrap and Hoosiers. Well, Indiana, early in the season, they lose their first game to DePaul, three to nothing, and then they travel to, uh, to play Northwestern in a game that was played in Indianapolis. Northwestern was heavily favored, but Indiana ended up grinding out a win seven to six. Basically, they scrapped out the win, and people were talking about the scrap and Hoosiers there. They picked up on it. And from there, it kind of took off. The scrap and Hoosiers uh, went from there, and uh, over the years, it went from scrap and Hoosiers, hurry and Hoosiers, all kinds of things, and finally, it's just Hoosiers. A person could simply define a Hoosier as someone who was born or lived in the state of Indiana. But to the people of Indiana University, it carries a little bit more weight. There is a history and an identity tied with the word Hoosier, one that will likely only get deeper with time. At Assembly Hall, I'm Samantha Daywig for This is Indiana.